Hey guys, <laughs> Dirty Keto Grandma. I'm still at the park. I thought I would do a little part two of uh, this little test run at the park because I'm coming across here. I'm going across the actual street. Remember, we were just walking on the opposite side. We were on that paved trail over there on the other side of the bridge. Well, now I'm crossing the street because across the street, as I was saying, is the garden center. And I've taken you guys to this garden center before. I think two times now or something. Once with Bub. And once on my own to take you to my little zen garden. But here's the sign for it when you're coming down. I'm coming down where you drive. People drive down here to come see the lights. Lights are going to be set up everywhere. Look at all these geese. And lights are all also set up all back here in this garden. And if you can see the sign, I hope I'm getting it here. Canton Garden Center established 1950. Gives you the address here, the office address. And I figured we would just do a little part two of our test run for our Christmas light run tonight. Well, walk our Christmas light walk. So I'm gonna turn this around so you can see here where people, you can drive or walk into this entrance, the entrance into the garden. You'll see it tonight, these two nutcrackers, they'll be lit up and you come in the entrance, there's gonna be all kinds of lights lit up here tonight. Now this is pretty awesome because here, again, this city park, this Canton city parks and Rex, it goes, forever all the way through these trails you can walk multiple trails bike ride here's a little bridge we're going across because here's a second waterway there's the one waterway over there that we were just walking beside this is the whole other side of the park another waterway here's a garden center bridge dedicated in 1974 by the mayor and you just come up here into the garden. <laughs> Squirrel! There's lights up here, they're gonna be up. Here's a bench if you wanna sit down and chill. These are gonna be candy canes that are all lit up. They've been lighting this up. They've been testing it and lighting it up here this last week before Thanksgiving. But all these lights over here they've added are all brand new. Right here, look at this. Look at this. They have a mailbox for kids to come drop their letters off for Santa. I mean, that's just like the... It just makes you feel good that someone's like, I mean, this is just great, man. And then you come up here, and here's where me and Bub started our video the one day, right here by the Canton Garden Center town, center, sorry. They got the bell tower, the butterfly garden, the children's garden, all of it listed right here. And they got all this stuff. Here's what I was telling about, like the, like the box planner type thing. It's all just like a, everything's listed for what they have here. Different types of plants. They're all kind of dying off now, but, you know, tarragon, marjoram, you know, different spices. Everything's listed. But look at all this over here. You can come bring your kids and take a picture. If you want them to be frosty, put their faces in the wreath. Take a little picture with them. I'm going to bring Bub up here. Look, handmade like garland that kids made out of like little pieces of cloth. Over here, they got like a nativity, a menorah. I think this might be some kind of Spanish religious. I'm not positive, but it's got like a, it's kind of like a menorah, some fruit, corn. A uh, drink, books, yeah, I'm not sure, positive. Here, now here's this house up here. Just to get a shot of this. Wreaths, nice big holiday wreaths on every window. They got a Santa, let me try to go up. 
see if I can look in the window here. They do have visiting hours. I think you can come up in here, but I don't know how well you can see this through the window. The tree with all these really, I mean, it's just beautiful. Look at this Santa. Right? These are the cloth, like, they're just little pieces of cloth that they probably, like, shredded, and the kids put them together, and probably did like a little school project it's just great and then yeah if you come down these steps I don't know if you can see this they have like the Ohio flag well like a special one a special flag a United States and then you go down these steps and there's this whole memorial now usually when it's not so cold they have this pond thing shooting water up like a fountain it's this gold star memorial a tribute to our gold star families those loved one paid the ultimate price of defending the United States of America nice sign they keep it painted nice and nice and kept real yeah I mean and you know thank goodness they got this blue star memorial get the gold star blue star and then I believe this flame out here, like they have the, I know this water feature doesn't look the best right now because it's just the, yeah, it's not a good time of year. It's not, they probably haven't cleaned it since like summertime. So it's a little stained looking, but it's pretty neat when it does have the water coming up through this whole ring. And then, yeah, here's the, sorry, I went right by the sign. John F. Kennedy Memorial Foundation. And then they have this like, flame i'm assuming it's like an eternal eternal flame or something john f kennedy memorial fountain dedicated september 25th 1966 made possible by contributions from the citizens of canton ohio and memorial in honor of john fitzgerald kennedy 35th president of the united states assassinated november 22nd 1963 and yeah that flame burns I don't think I, it's never went out. I don't believe. I don't think it does. This over here. Now again, all these lights over here, and I don't want to. I don't want this to go too long because it is a second video. <laughs> um, all the lights that they put over here in the garden center is something new this year. They never had lights over here. Now again, you're not going to be able to really get the full effect of this right now because it's daylight. But you'll at least be able to compare like this to what it was when you'll see it at night. Look at this care. It's like a carousel with horses and the way they have that it lights up it looks like it's actually like going round and round and round when it's lit up at night we saw them testing it the other night it looks great all right we got a few minutes so it doesn't go too long with this one i'm gonna come up here and walk this is the entrance i'm gonna turn around so you guys can see i just came back where we started we're up by the house and this is the main walkway to walk into this garden. And here's still more stuff to the left that tells you what everything is. Mother of time. So they're, that's time that they're growing. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Well, it's some type of an arugula. Bon bon orange. And some things are still, not everything has died off yet. Summer savory. I think this is like parsley or something. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you walk all along here. There's that dig on horse carousel. You got all this area out here. You could have a picnic lunch out here. Spread out a blanket. There's picnic benches. I don't know if there's tables up here. I'll take you up here to this table. Here's over here to the left. If you keep going straight on this path, you got some benches there. The little entrance to the left of the butterfly garden you got a gazebo up there i'll take you up by there but if you go to the left here you got all kinds of stuff in these planted plant boxes over here and you got this really cute little water well it's neat garden of five senses in the hope that people will learn to experience with all their senses the beauty that is 
the plant world, this garden is dedicated. I mean, some of it has been cracked and, you know, due to the weather and a lot of this stuff is dying off. So it doesn't look as <laughs> great as it normally does as far as it being like full and lush and, but, and they have taken some things down. Like normally this wooden kind of arch thing here has like plates and stuff on it for sight sense of sight it gives you stuff to look at but they've taken it down because the weather's getting bad here's just a nice like cement bench everything's in memory of somebody who's probably passed or contributed to this park or who knows you've got all kinds of different paths you can take to walk taste this one usually has like cabbage and lettuce and things you can actually eat in it i mean they don't want you eating out of it but um yeah hearing sense of hearing there's the bells I mean, come on. Imagine an earth where all gardens are fun and children will blossom as bright as the sun. Love it. You got these little nooks you can walk through. You got the little pad where you can make the music. I have my grandson over here. But for those of you that... Maybe you didn't see that video. Come out here and make your own bells. If you're feeling down or depressed, come out here, man. I'm telling you, look at it. Little Patriot Garden. Little stones and different things you can read. This little rabbit garden. Mad Mr. McGregor's garden. It's usually got like cat purple cabbage and stuff growing in there. Again, benches, you can take a rest anytime. It's peaceful and relaxing. Bring the kids if you want, or don't. I come by myself, it's great. It makes me feel like a kid again. If I just want peace and quiet and to relax, come up here and chill. You, don't, you can go off the beaten path. If you don't want to stay on the path and stay in the garden, None of this is off limits. Go walk up there. Go spread your blanket out up underneath that tree far, far away from everybody and just enjoy. But if you want to walk around and enjoy this, no one's going to bother you or harass you. Everybody pretty much keeps to themselves. The old shoe garden. Now, again, they are cleaning up and taking... They do take a lot of stuff out in the winter time because it gets wintry and you don't want to, <laughs> look at that pig. You don't want a lot of stuff getting hurt or like damaged because of the weather. And all these plants and stuff, they just grow back. Some things I think they will come out and pull. Pizza garden, you got mushrooms and pork and and then look at this. I mean, the kids are encouraged to come through here. Now, I got to bend down, but look. Little number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They can go under that walkway. I'm a little tall, so I'm going back out. <laughs> and then we're back around. Like, everything leads back around to somewhere. This poor little house is dying off, too. All the plants and the neat stuff on top of it little window box of flowers and stuff everything is dying as it does they put mr. bear back up right little tree house we'll go up here real quick 
because we're hitting what 15 minutes on this video walk through the tree house we got Rex Alice our dinosaur she stays put all winter yeah she stays out all winter up there is a little bridge my little Japanese uh, Zen garden with my waterfall up there. I won't go all the way up there because we're running. But I mean, look, I'm not too close to this guy up there. He's up walking around, enjoying the day. All these different stones. Some plants and trees that are still alive. I mean, but where it's not, it still looks great. Now, before I end this, I want to swing over here. They got this gazebo because, again, they added all these lights over here to this garden center this year that they didn't have in the last couple years. Now, we've lived up here about 10, going on 11 years, 10 solid, but we've only been in Canton probably about seven. Yeah, so they added these trees, and they're all lit up. The whole gazebo will be lit up tonight with lights going all around it, and then those trees in the middle. It's sweet the Stewart family gazebo so the Stewart family can you know contributed that or there's another bench if you want to sit down they do say no dog walking but I've seen people walking their dogs and I'm pretty sure they're pretty laxed about it as long as you keep your dog on a leash and don't have it running around and like bothering people but there's kind of a little trail a little broken off trail over here thought you guys might find this a little interesting pick trail picks back up you can take these trails all over like i say you can go hike up there if you want but if you take this one out here you want to have a little lunch picnic lunch you don't have a blanket you don't want there's plenty of picnic tables and benches throughout the whole park but check this out it's a little bricked area some big boulders just a little nook here with some water running and check this out got you some checkers you got a checkerboard right here you got somewhere for like four people to sit although two people could sit per bench you can hang out chill play some checkers and chill in the park I mean come on And there's the garden back here. All of it. And the park. All around. And I'll just go back over to that little tiny bridge way over there where it says Canton Park, certain community or whatever. Stadium Park is what it says. And I'll go back over that bridge, go back up the road, and go home, where Grandpa's watching Buckeyes. So yeah, this is the garden, part two of our test run tonight for our holiday lights in Canton City Parks. Thanks again for checking in, guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, and stay tuned for the holiday lights. Coming soon, guys. Coming soon.